It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer. Now this is from, I believe, let's have a look. Pujala. It's Tool and Pujala. Pujala are from Estonia and Tool are from Denmark. And this is their Sticks and Stones Port and Oloroso Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. This one's coming in at 13.5% ABV. A massive, massive beer then. 330 milliliter bottle. Black wax top on this one. Look at that. Wow. Right, I've got my... Um, I'm going to use the corkscrew. Well, I'm going to try and use the corkscrew here to cut through. Oh, is it going to work? I just need a, a little edge. There we go. That should be enough. I just need enough to get my... Get this top off. Oh. There we go. I love these wax tops. They look absolutely fantastic. But if you're thirsty, it's trouble, isn't it? <laughs> It's trouble if you're thirsty. Right, here we go then. Okay. Make sure there's no plastic in my glass. It seemed like plastic, didn't it, that top? It didn't seem like wax. It seemed like a melted plastic. Oh my goodness me. Look at this! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! We got a... Oh, <laughs> we got a... One very small one finger tan coloured head on this one. It's jet black. Look at the liquid. Look at that liquid in the glass. It's jet black. There's no light bleeding through there whatsoever. Looks tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Let's get the aroma. Gravy. <laughs> the very finest OXO gravy. A little bit of roasted malt. Chocolate. Coffee, caramel. But you get that little bit of sweet port. I'm not a port drinker myself, but you definitely get a little bit of sweet port in here. Caramel, a bit of sweet caramel. Coconut, vanilla. Raisin, plum, fig, prune. The the aroma is just divine. Absolutely divine. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh! Ho, ho. Muscovado. Is it? Is it? Is that how you pronounce it? Muscovado sugar? I'm working, do my job.
and the neighbours don't seem to like it. Standing in, in my own conservatory, minding my own business, and the neighbour opens her back door and interferes with my beam review. <laughs> oh well, life. It's a funny, it's a funny situation the UK's in. Um, loads and loads of work out there. Loads and loads of work. Fantastic amounts of work out there. And there's people then able to willing, you know, whether she bodily able to work. Shouting over the wall. Anyway, um, chocolate coffee caramel, lovely bitterness. Roasted malt coming through. I'm gonna shut the back door. Sorry for the echoing at this point. It might be a little bit echoey. If I open this door, then the house will get cold, but that, that's okay. I prefer that. I prefer the house getting cold at this stage than um, the shouty neighbour. Oh, it's a funny place to live. It really is a funny place to live. I love it. I, I really love where I live, but at the same time... Oh, you feel threatened, don't you, when someone's shouting over your wall? Your neighbour, like, shouting over the wall. Unbelievable. Never mind. So loads of roasted malt, loads of chocolate, loads of coffee, loads of caramel. Bitterness on the back end. Whiskey, definitely barrel aged. An imperial stout brewed with raspberry branch tea. Oh, it's another tea infused beer. I've just literally reviewed a tea infused beer. Raspberries and licorice, aged in Oloroso sherry and ruby pork barrels. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So there's an element of that tea I was looking for something. I was looking for a certain flavour in the beer. It's the tea. It's the tea. It's the... Oh, the tannings. It's the tannings in the tea. But also that little bit of raspberry in there. It's it's a bit of a genius beer, to be honest with you. It really is. Loving the mouthfeel. Creamy and rich. Lovely raspberry flavours. Roasted malts. Chocolate coffee caramel. Brilliant beer. Brilliant beer. I think I held my composure enough to finish the beer review. There was a minute or two in my head where I was talking about the beer, but I was thinking about neighbours shouting over the wall. So I do apologise if I kind of come across a little bit, a little bit vague, a little bit kind of like not quite in control of my beer review, but I think I did a good enough job with this one. Terrific beer. The answer to it is Tool and Pugella have produced an absolutely fantastic beer here. I'm going to rate it. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. 9 out of 10 from Real L Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.